Hi there, my name is DJ Hombre from Digital DJ Tips and today I'm unlocking the secrets of DVS on iOS devices. Not much has been written or spoken about this so far so I thought I'd do a quick video showing you how to set it up on your iPad. So you will need an iPad or an iPhone or an iPod Touch running uh, at least iOS 6. If you're on a smaller device it will need to be iOS 7 because the camera connection kit is now avail available to use on those devices. Uh, you will also need a class compliant sound card. So if you're using CD turntables then the choice of sound card is quite wide because you need two line level inputs, two sets of stereo line level inputs. For me I'm using turntables so I need two uh, pairs of phono inputs. Now the choice of sound cards is pretty limited, so I'm using a Traktor Audio 6. You could use Audio 10. Um, Native Instruments updated their firmware recently, uh, which now means they are USB class compliant. So I can use those with an iPad. Uh, you will also need turntables or CD decks and a mixer, so that's pretty much given. Uh, you're a DJ, you should have those things. Um, so let's take a look at how you configure DJ Player to run this properly. Okay, so I'm using a Traktor Audio 6 um, USB sound card. I've got it plugged into the power and I've got a USB socket running out the back via a camera connection kit into the back of my iPad. Now if we just turn this round, you should be able to see the connections. So I'm using all the, all the connections here. So my left deck here is plugged into the inputs for deck A and the output for deck A is running back around here into the line input on my mixer. Now it's been very important to use a line input um, and conversely for deck B the inputs are here and the outputs for deck B run all the way back into the line input for deck B on my mixer. I've got both decks uh, grounded here on the Traktor Audio 6 device. Now it's worth taking a note of the numbers here. Um, so deck A is using USB 3 and 4 and deck B is using USB channels 5 and 6. So take a note of those, we'll need those later on. This may differ on uh, different audio interfaces. So in order to get DJ Player running as a DVS setup you need to change a couple of things in the settings. So firstly you need to set the audio output route and it's going to be going via your USB audio device. Um, so in which case I only want DJ Player to handle just two decks inside it. I don't need the mixer functionality to take place inside the app because that will be done by me on the hardware mixer. Uh, then I get a choice to change the USB routing for deck A and deck B. And I've set this up already so I know that channels 3 and 4 via USB for deck A channels 5 and 6 are deck B. We looked at the back of the Audio 6 device and those audio inputs are uh, audio outputs are leveled labeled correctly. We can go back to the deck page and just have a quick test. Make sure your uh, line input is selected on your mixer. Excellent. So that's all set up. The next thing you need to do in the settings is go to the DVS page. So the DVS page shows you a few things, frequency and threshold uh, for fine tuning stuff, I, I, I've never touched the frequency, it seems to be okay. You have an option to change the uh, RPM of the DVS functionality, so if you prefer to spin your turntables at 45 RPM, you can choose to do that or not. Um, I'm using a Traktor Audio 6 device, so I'm going to set reverse phase to yes. Um, you can select the input channels for DVS so this matches the um, channels for the output so for deck A it's 3 and 4, deck B it's 5 and 6. This may differ between audio devices. And then at the bottom this is the crucial bit that some people miss off is selecting which decks of the four decks that DJ Player has available should be DVS controlled. So I'm going to say deck one, uh, sorry, deck A is turntable one, and deck B, turntable two, is um, 
is under that control. And what you'll see here is a little bar showing you um, the, the level of input coming into the app. Now what I can do, I've got a, uh, a piece of vinyl on my deck and as I move it backwards and forwards you'll see that bar will pick up some response. And if you give it some hammering you'll see that the bar will go red and it means that it's, uh, it's just peaking slightly. So you might need to adjust the threshold. But apart from that, that is the setup for DVS. So if I go back to my deck, I can turn the vinyl and that waveform spins nicely. And uh, I'll just do a, a rudimentary bit of scratching. So there you go, that's DVS functionality on iOS with DJ Player and Tractor Audio 6 with a Serato timecode vinyl. So it's quite a mixture of brands and functionality there. So I think it will raise eyebrows within Native Instruments and within Serato, uh, within Rain, sorry. However, Native Instruments have made a sale. They've sold a Tractor Audio 6 uh, sound card, so a tick in the box for them. Rain have sold a pair of timecode vinyls. Great news for them. DJ Player have sold one of their apps. Great. Apple have sold an iPad. So everyone's a winner here. Um, until Native Instruments or Rain come on to using DVS with iOS devices, um, this is probably the only way you've got to do it at the moment. So the future is bright for iPads and DJing on them. Especially now uh, you have MIDI controller support, you now have DVS functionality, and if you wanted to use the device on its own, you still have that availability as well. So really, iPads and iOS devices are charging ahead with their development. So there you go. Full review will be available on Digital DJ Tips.